Disney has recently changed their early entry policy, so we are going to rope drop DCA. We're gonna rope drop Radiator Springs in the rain. Will it work? I don't know. Will it even open? We'll see. That's our competition so far, which is pretty good, actually. We got here at a much earlier time than we normally do. We were one of the first cars into the Toy Story lot. We got maybe a hundred or so people here in the group ahead of us. And my guess is most of them are gonna be heading for Radiator Springs Racers this morning. It has been our position that you should not rope drive Radiator Springs Racers, mostly because of the competition that you face from early entry guests, hotel guests who get to get into the park half an hour before everybody else. And this would happen every single day. Uh, it has been our position for a long time that you should not rope drop Radiator Springs Racers because of the competition that you face from early entry guests, hotel guests who get into the park a half an hour early, creates a backup at standby, because that's where they're all going as well. So there's very little benefit. You have a decent chance at a, at a wait time in under an hour perhaps, but the last time that I rope drop Raider Springs Racers under those conditions, I waited for 45 minutes and I was not late. <laughs> I was here right on time for rope drop. Uh, but now what this is doing is alternating parks for early entry. One day it's DCA, the next day it's Disneyland, they go back and forth. Early entry for Disneyland is Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. The other days are DCA. So getting here on a Thursday means that the early entry is happening over at Disneyland, which means DCA should be wide open. Radiator Springs Racers should be wide open. The only competition that we should be facing this morning are these guests joining me out on this rainy morning. It's about 7.45 right now. And it's actually a pretty healthy crowd, I would think, uh, considering it's raining. I'm not sure what effect this will have on the total wait time that we have, but really what I'm trying to test today is just how, how fluid, how, how smoothly we get into the queue, which I don't expect there to be any resistance whatsoever, apart from the 100 or so people that are ahead of me, and then those who are going to probably walk a lot faster than I do getting to the, getting to the attraction entrance. <laughs> so everybody's turning left. You may have heard cast and guests. Radiator Springs Racers is not opening on this morning, this rainy morning. I was afraid of that. <clears throat> it can happen. It's not a it's not a lock, but you're certainly much more likely to find racers closed on a rainy day than have it open. I'm gonna walk down that way anyway though, because a, I just want to see what the walk is like and see what you know how many guests are going there and two I need to get a photo <laughs> for Instagram to show that what's happening and then we'll go to plan two I guess I, I think um, you know you can't do Incredicoaster you could do Toy Story but then what then you're stuck down there at the other end of the park and there's nothing else down there that I want to do on a rope drop morning so I think we are gonna go Web slickers? So there you go. They're not even going to let guests line up. Unlike Rise of the Resistance on our last rope drop test, where guests just sort of coalesced into a makeshift queue. I don't expect that to be the case here at Raider Springs. They're going to definitely be telling guests to move along. The last time when, when we tried ra uh, rope dropping Raider Springs, it was closed that morning also, and they did tell guests to move along. This is just another example of why it's so difficult to rope drop Raider Springs because so many things have to go your way just to, just to get on the ride. And then we can talk about how long it's gonna take. Uh, we'll come back later 
maybe to see? I don't know. This, this rain has been relentless this morning. It's been nonstop. It's cold. It's windy. I, I feel like I need some mittens right now. <laughs> Let's get indoors. Oh, and by the way, obviously, Luigi's is closed also. <laughs> They'll close Luigi's on a cloudy day. <laughs> the trackless systems are not conducive to poor weather. So uh, that, that's standard. Ah. This is gonna send everybody indoors, this weather. So we may actually have some competition here at Web Slingers. There's already some lightning lane guests in there. Oh my goodness. It's posted at five minutes. I don't know if I'd use lightning lane right here. I honestly, that that's, <laughs> I'm not sure if I would agree with that. That's our cue right there actually, that's not too bad. It's not going into the back area. I'll give my right arm for a pair of warm gloves right now though. <laughs> I can't keep my hands in my pockets because I have to hold this camera out here and the umbrellas so both hands are exposed to all this cold and rain. So we got in this queue at 8.06. So we only lost a few minutes really, you know, doing our little Radiator Springs mission. Normally I would say that's very expensive. Those six minutes would be a waste, but today I don't think this is just not going to be a very competitive day. Although, the queue doesn't seem to be moving. Oh, why wait for it? How many? What? How many? 814, so that was eight minutes to get into the collection room. Looks like Peter Parker and the rest of the web team is ready for us. Thanks to funding from Tony Stark, Web has brought together the world's most brilliant engineers and given them access to cutting edge resources so that they can create tech that will empower all the way forward. Hey, what's up? I'm Peter Parker. Hey, Peter Parker. Hey, Peter Parker. This is now a bigger problem. Activating threat level protocols. Got our glasses. There's our mission. <laughs> why am I laughing? I just love Disneyland. That's why. I just love the pageantry of it all. Plus, I look super cool in these glasses. 821 to our ride here. I got 161,000. I don't know if that's any good or not. I don't know hardly ever play, so I don't know. But uh, I don't think it's very good. I don't think 161,000 is very good, to be honest. Well, the rain hasn't let up while we were in there. <laughs> I was hoping we'd get a break. You stay dry for a minute while you're inside. You're like, oh, this is nice. And then you come back out here and it's raining still. Uh, okay. So our options at this point are Mission Breakout, Monsters, Inc., and Soren. I feel like I'm gravitating towards Mission Breakout. Seems reasonable. Oh, I could buy Tim's just now. It smells so good in there. And that, it's very alluring, the smell of that breakfast, but there's no inside seating. Man, I would love some Cinnapim toast right now. It's so good. And a hot cup of coffee. Why does that sound so much better than trying to get on Mission Breakout right now? Yeah, you have to sit outside. You can't, there's no indoor seating at that restaurant. There's cupboard, but it's outside. Okay, what are we doing? 
25. See, there's <laughs> man, just so little discount. Everybody's in a queue. Nobody in the street, everybody in a queue. Let's get in. This is not looking good. Into this queue at 8.31, 25 minutes. Man, that's gonna that's gonna put us right at 9 a.m. Got two a <laughs> You think you'd get more done on a rainy day, but it just isn't the case. It's just not the case. I five in the collector and through the threshold at 8:41. That's 10 minutes that we just spent out there in the queue and in the rain. <laughs> I'm so happy to be inside again. It's miserable out there. Raise your hands for security clearance. And presto, the doors open for you. <laughs> I now man. present to it's you Tanya Devon's show. private office. 16 minutes so far. <laughs> uh, that was funny. What? Of course I escaped. For those of you who have not been paying attention, the name's Rocket. One of the guardians of the galaxy. Okay, raise your hands for clearance. Complete. You may now enter the gantry lift. And that is 35 minutes. It's now 9.06. It's been 35 minutes to our right here. gearing up, so I'm assuming it's still raining out there. It looked like it when we hit the top of the attraction. So our choices now at this point are, do we stay down here and do Monsters, Inc. and Soren, or do we go and see what it's like at Toy Story, and then that puts you in the right side of the park to hit a bunch of other attractions, maybe post rope drop time, because it is nine, it's like 9.10 right now, so we're getting into our morning now. I, I've never actually tried that, so I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this walk to Toy Story. I wanna find out how long it takes to get there and what Toy Story looks like at 9 a.m. as opposed to 8 a.m. Don't know if I'll be getting on any other attractions down there because it's still raining. And uh, it was probably would not be that enjoyable to go on, let's say, the fun wheel. But on a normal day, I feel like that's a pretty good idea Hopefully, Toy Story isn't too bad. We'll see. Web Slingers is up to 30 now.
there is no sound coming from the Incredicoaster right now, and I thought maybe the attraction was closed. But there's a, there's a ride vehicle down here at the lodge, and there's just... <laughs> they got their, yellow, their umbrellas out and everything. They're posted. Oh my goodness, that must be the most miserable thing. There's no way that I would be on the Incredicoaster on a rainy day like this. No way. So much of this. I wouldn't be on the fun wheel today. I'm hoping... Toy Story is still open. I tend not to check because I, I like to discover things. But sometimes, you know, you, you probably should. I probably should be checking the tip board. It does look like I see vehicles running up there, so that's a good sign. And that is a six minute walk from Avengers Campus, from Mission Breakout to Toy Story. It is six minutes and a 10 minute wait. I accept. Now, I don't know, I don't think this is going to be representative of your experience on a normal day going from Avengers Campus, going from Mission Breakout or let's say Web Slingers to Toy Story at 9 a.m. 910. It's likely this attraction will have, well, it should really, it should have a longer wait time. And as it's been my experience that on rainy days, as I've said before, you get a discount in the streets, but not in the queues. Generally, the wait times are the same. The people are here and everybody's in a queue and it's here. So I'm kind of surprised that it is just 10 minutes right now. Tell you what, it is beautiful to watch Disneyland operations at work. Watching the the ballet of these vehicles getting loaded and unloaded, and I mentioned this in comparison to what I've experienced in other parks. Just noting that again once more that Disney is really good at getting people in and out of attractions. We are at our vehicle at 9:30, exactly 10 minutes to our ride vehicle. Have fun, guys. <laughs> That's our boat. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> I tried to go one handed while shooting. I've done this before, but it's been a minute. I usually have to choose between filming it in the 3D glasses or shooting it one handed. But I want to play. <laughs> I let the duck get away. I, I let the duck get away. I can't lift it. I can only shoot low. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> that's so bad. <laughs> 18,000. Oh my god, I feel, I'm embarrassed. Okay. That was even worse. <laughs> that was even, I didn't know it could be worse. It's worse. I'm gonna try to see if I can hold the wheel with the camera hand. And right there, you gotta hold the wheel with the camera hand, and then the camera tracks the wheel, and then I can control it a little better. <laughs> oh, I don't like this one. I'm at 57,600 so far. Uh, 
That'll be there. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, you can't see it. There it is. 42,900. I have no idea if that's even good for me. I know it's not good for other people. Like, I'm not even the best in my vehicle. There's 180, 400 this hour. Oh my gosh, this month? So the best score, oh, that's right. Today's the first day of the month. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's great. Whoever played this morning got the best score of the month. The month started about two hours ago. So 400 pounds. I have no idea how to get that high. You know, the best part about making these videos is that I get to go to Disneyland, man. I just went on Toy Story Midway Mania, had a great time. I got a score of something, but I got to enjoy Toy Story, which is a, just a really, really good attraction. Well-designed, they did a great job with the story. They made a story and it works. I love the idea that you're inside, you know, the kid's game that you see there at the end of the attraction on the, you know, the, the, the father's office floor, perhaps. Uh, I just, and it's well done. It's it's well themed, it's fun. Disneyland is awesome. <laughs> Disneyland, DCA, Disneyland, whatever, it's all good. Uh, so where does that leave us? It is now 9.45. It's still raining, it's still really windy and cold. It's kind of miserable. But on a regular day, you're in a good position here at a reasonable time in the morning to do something like the Incredicoaster, even though it is <laughs> it's close. I wonder, did they have to get all those guests out of that vehicle over there? That must have been miserable. Obviously, Jesse's Critter Carousel, which is, there's never a bad time to ride Jesse's. Toy Story, by the way, is up to 35 minutes as we walk by. That didn't take long. I feel like 9.45 a.m. is a pretty good time to get on the Pixar Pal around. Though again, today we won't be doing that because it's raining in there and it's cold and steel and not at all welcoming. But I rather like that pattern. I rather like starting with, well, Raider Springs Racers on a day where they are having early entry at Disneyland. You gotta check the calendar. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, early entry is at Disneyland, which means the park is wide open for DCA guests. There are no early entry guests at DCA. Those are the days that you want to try to rope drop Raider Springs Racers, I think. My belief is, seeing what we saw that morning, or this morning, I should say, that we would have had a pretty easy time of, of Raider Springs Racers that had it open. But then you could do that, jump on maybe one or two, well, probably one other attraction because it's kind of long. One other attraction then area and then head down to the pier for Toy Story and Pixar Pal around. The other attractions, even in Coaster, Little Mermaid, Goopy Sky School, eh, those are, that's something that you might want to do in the first two hours. But generally speaking, most of the other attractions here are ones that can be managed without too much difficulty after rope drop. Obviously things like Jesse's, uh, like I said, in credit coasters, uh, Little Mermaid. The one variable is for those of you who are putting a priority on, <laughs> Goopy Sky School is also close. Man, nothing works on a rainy day here. <laughs> it's like, uh, Soren is one variable. Uh, it depends on what you value. You know, do you value Mission Breakout? Web Slingers or Soren. That should be your second attraction or first if you choose or cannot do Raider Springs Racers. It's difficult otherwise to come up with like a real definitive pattern in my opinion. So far, the analysis that we've been able to do, because this park is so much more spread out than Disneyland is, because the attractions are not, or the good ones, the, the, the Lightning Lane attractions, which is what I like to favor when I rope drop is, is Lightning Lane attractions. They're spread out considerably more so than they are at Disneyland. So you kind of just have to pick your battle and hope for the best, and there's no right or wrong answer in that sense. I think the one thing that we can say is right 
is is to not is to not rope drop Raider Springs Racers on an early entry day at DCA. Just go ahead and skip it. Even if you have a big go to single rider. Just do single rider. <laughs> Even if you have a big party. It's really just the only way to go. It's the only because you you lose your whole morning and you're still gonna wait 45 minutes. Probably. As for me in this morning, I think I'm gonna go try to find someplace warm and dry and find something hot to eat, maybe some coffee. I'm smelling that prosperity bow right now. This right here, guys, this right there. Really, really good. <laughs> that was our favorite item that we've tried so far at Lunar New Year. The kimchi mayo sauce on that uh, bun, the pork bun, barbecue pork bun. So, so good. Uh, yeah, we're gonna call it for this day. It is 9.52. We did okay. I think we did okay. We could have easily done better, but uh, you know, I'm not a try hard. I just kind of go with it. But uh, thank you guys for joining us on this rainy rope drop morning. It's such a shame that we weren't able to do a proper test of Radiator Springs Racers. It's probably still not open. It's still pouring out here. Uh, if you like this show and want to show you support, please do consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash freshbaked. You can follow us on Instagram at underscore freshbaked, on Twitter at freshbaked Disney, that's fresh with no E, and on TikTok at freshbaked Disney. Otherwise, thanks again for watching, everybody. We love you. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. Fresh baked.